It's a Tuesday evening here at the Saddle Dome and the turf is down, which is a rarity, and it's all because of Cardell's Lady Cross, an opportunity for some of the girls to learn the game. One of the premier scorers in the NLL. This is our sixth Lady Cross event, and we kind of got the idea from the Stampeders who do their ladies event. So the Roughnecks want to do something similar and just teach uh, the sport of lacrosse to their lady fans. Still my opposite foot, full push. The sticks are all different, so who knows where you're going to shoot. <laughs> Dane, you're leading the shooting drill. Are you impressed with uh, what the ladies are bringing to the turf tonight? Yeah, you know, it's pretty good, actually, for uh, the girls that haven't ever played before. You know, they're starting to score goals on Peter, and we tell them their weak spot, and he gets they get some goals on them, so it's pretty cool. Yep. We have a lot of uh, people that haven't even been to a Roughnecks game before that want to learn about the sport, so hopefully they can get some new fans that way, and then a lot of season ticket holders as well as ladies that have kids that play lacrosse and want to learn more about the game. One thing about the ladies, they're very hard on themselves, but they're passing and catching better than almost I can already, so very quick learners, this group, so they're doing excellent. You shouldn't really admit that on camera, that they're passing better than you. Uh, maybe what's one of the biggest uh, tips that you're giving to everyone tonight? One of the biggest tips, when you're passing, your hand needs to go right down to the middle. When you're catching, you need a good target, and you have to cushion it like a raw egg. That's kind of the analogy we use. Imagine playing pass with an egg, and you don't want to get egg on your face. Okay, no egg on our face, yeah. got that down. There you go. Oh! Over her head. So thank you very much for coming. You guys can put the sticks just somewhere near the bench. Um, I think you're heading upstairs or down for a tour of the dressing room. It's another way for uh, lacrosse to grow in the community. Are you impressed with this kind of program? It's not just little kids learning and wanting to play lacrosse. It's, you know, ladies wanting, they're the fans and wanting to learn what you guys do. Yeah, most definitely. And there are a lot of fans are here, a lot of season ticket holders are here. And then uh, I've also seen a lot of uh, mothers that have kids that play, uh, kids and boys that play lacrosse that always want to give it a try and, uh, you know, they're pretty good, so they can maybe go home and teach their son something. Your son plays lacrosse, so having Poulin's gear on, pretty sure he's going to be extremely jealous. Uh, what's it like being a mom, though, now knowing that extra step about the game and having your son in the game? Um, he absolutely loves it, and so it's nice to learn a little bit more and see the kind of role models that he has. Um, I'm really impressed with the Roughnecks. They've came to our school before and just the way that they spoke in goal set with the kids and stuff was really incredible and so seeing backstage of that as well is really neat.